vlog today before I forgot again. Yesterday was actually a good day. I just didn't get a chance to get in front of the camera and I didn't go to bed until like one o'clock or something. It was a long day. <laughs> I spent about six hours reconnecting with an old friend that I haven't talked to in about a year. And that was really nice to speak with her and catch up on each other's lives and all of that. So that was really nice. I uh, just finished a workout today. I'm really excited and happy and I feel very nice about it. It's the first time I've worked out in over a week. So last week I did not do any sort of workouts. I just didn't have the energy. And today I got up and I had a little bit, of, bit more energy. I had a snack. Um, I had my tea. And I watched some fitness YouTubers. So whenever I see a fitness YouTuber like doing something, it makes me want to work out. And so I got this like rush of like, oh, I should work out. And then before I lost it, I hopped on the bike real quick, threw 90 Day Fiance on the TV and just went for 30 minutes. And that was really good. And it was a lot easier, actually. So despite my week of being lazy, I, uh, I didn't lose the fitness progress that I had made, which is really nice. I'm really happy and excited about that. So the 30 minutes felt a little easier. It was like the last five were a little challenging. And the the first 25 minutes, I'd barely even noticed to go by. Like I, at one point I was like, oh, I wonder how much time has gone by. And I checked the time and it had been 20 minutes. And I was like, whoa, because usually 10 minutes in is when I start really checking the time and being like, oh, how much longer we got? But I, I had like more energy and I was able to push myself a little bit more. So turn that resistance up a little higher and then every time I turn the resistance up I would increase my speed so I go faster you know that was really nice and it felt like I feel the endorphins and I then I went, I went and I washed my face and I did my skincare routine which I had not done yet it's about one o'clock and I had just kind of gotten out of bed and started watching videos I didn't really do my morning routine so then I I kind of like stopped and recentered did my face after my workout and now I'm I'm gonna like relax the rest of the day. I'm gonna make lunch in a little bit I had some wasabi peas for breakfast. Not the healthiest thing, but like, you know, it was food at least <laughs> Kind of jump-started my my hunger. I'm trying to drink a little bit more water I've gotten out of the habit. I was doing really well drinking like two to four liters of water a day and then the last couple of days, I just didn't. I got an immediate headache that has not gone away. So I've had a headache for three days. It's like right behind my eye. It's just like stabbing my eyeball is what it feels like. It's not a full blown migraine, but it's getting there. I had a horrific migraine yesterday, <laughs> lasted all day, worked through it and then went straight to bed. Otherwise, I feel like this week I'm doing pretty okay. We're back to like a really steady weight, not gaining, but not losing, which is good. It's good that we're maintaining those 10 pounds. They did come off really fast. So I do expect this week to maybe not lose as much as I lost in the last two or last three, but that's okay. I kind of hit a lull and I'm trying to maintain a positive, cheerful, stable attitude. I went I didn't go grocery shopping. I had groceries delivered again. They missed a couple of ingredients. So I'm actually going to have to go to the grocery store and pick those up. But on the menu for this week is spicy breakfast potatoes. And for dinner, I made like a, a hollandaise sauce and egg BLT on an English muffin, which was mm, so good. Had fresh tomatoes and some spinach on it. It was really great. I also picked up kale for kale chips because that's becoming one of my favorite snacks. They just, they're so good. It reminds me of seaweed chips, which I love. So I got that and then I got a recipe to make an amazing Thai grapefruit salad that I'm really excited to make, but I do need to pick up some materials from the store to do that. So that's what I'm planning on doing. I am actually starting to find it difficult to hit at least 1200 calories a day. I'm finding that you know, by dinner time or so, or after dinner, I've usually eaten about a thousand calories and I have to like sit down and think and be like, okay, what's like two or 300 calories that I can nibble on before I go to bed. 
So I'm finding that like the last food I eat is around eight o'clock and it's usually a snack because I didn't eat enough during the day, which is a better problem <laughs> than having eaten too much throughout the day because you can do something about it. But I'm finding that difficult. So I'm bringing my exercise down a little bit just because like I don't want to have too much of a caloric deficit. As it is, it's turning out to be eight or 900 calories, like a caloric deficit of eight or 900 calories a day with exercise, which is a lot. That's more than I'm trying to go for right now. So I'm just trying to even myself out, eat more snacks throughout the day, eat bigger meals. I think my problem is that I found all of these like low calorie, two and 300 calorie meals. And unfortunately, as I eat those, like they're not enough. So I have to eat four meals instead of three. So I'm trying to work on that. Try not to be afraid of those 500 calorie meals because I see like 500 calories and I kind of freak out. I'm like, oh, that's going to be too much. But it's not really if you think about it, because as an adult, you need to have like for my height and weight to maintain, I need to have at least 2000 calories. So eating 1500 calories in a day is not a big deal. And in fact, for my diet, that's probably where I want to be. So I need to not be afraid of getting up to that, which is kind of what's starting to happen mentally is I hit, you know, 1200, 1300 calories. And I'm like, Oh, no, I've overeaten. And I, so I need to get out of that mindset of being afraid of that 1500 calories that I'm supposed to be hitting and actually try to maintain that. So that's what's going on diet wise. Overall, I'm feeling less hungry. You know, I'm finding ways to just like maintain my body. Like the first week was really, really rough. I was getting hangry. I was tired. I, I was just cranky and I'm not finding that now. I'm just in more of like an equilibrium outside of the whole mental health thing. Like otherwise, everything's pretty stable. So that's good. Getting used to this healthy eating thing, getting used to making food at home, which is a big deal. I'm not going to say I haven't eaten out at all because I still enjoy that. But the choices that I'm making when I eat out are a lot better, a lot healthier. I'm, I'm ordering from different places. Like it's not $25 of food worth, worth of food from McDonald's. It's like a sandwich and a soup and a salad from Panera, which is still amazing. But I feel better and I get more bang for my buck, if you will, you know, because I'm trying to stay under a certain caloric amount. And if I ate a bunch of McDonald's, I would be able, I wouldn't be able to eat as much as if I could get like a salad and soup and sandwich from Panera. I just finished 15 minutes on the exercise bike, even though I really didn't want to today. Something was just compelling me to just get on there and bang out a couple of minutes. I usually try to do the full 30, but I just wasn't feeling it at all. So I figured some is better than nothing. I promise, <laughs> I swear that I will do every day of vlogging next week. This week has just been a kind of a crazy work week. So I've been having just a bit of a, a hard time balancing everything. And obviously work takes precedence over uh, this because this is a hobby. The vlogging, not the weight loss. Um, but the, the YouTube stuff is a hobby, whereas work is work. Happy Friday. I am down another two pounds, which is awesome. So it's officially 11 pounds down, which I'm very excited about. And I'm excited about my food. I made this for dinner. It is a turkey bacon, bacon, egg, and salsa sandwich on English muffin. And it's so good and so yummy and so filling. I'm in a good place. I'm, I'm just happy and feeling great. I've kind of like realigned and calmed myself down and I'm, I'm, I'm officially like, it feels like a habit. This dieting thing is now a habit and I'm, I haven't broken it yet. Like I haven't, there hasn't been one day where I haven't had a caloric deficit in like four weeks, which is incredible. It feels so good to like stick to something. And I just feel like I'm succeeding. Even though the weight loss is slow, I still feel like I'm succeeding. In a month, I lost 11 pounds, which is amazing. <laughs> so 
you know, I'm just hoping to keep it up. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you want to continue to follow my journey, please subscribe, comment, like, let me know what you guys want to see, what you guys want me to talk about, and feel free to check out my playlist for this journey as well as some of my other stuff. I do a lot of stuff. So if you like vocal covers and music and acting and random vlogs about cosplay and life, like this is the channel for you. But I'm, I, you know, right now I am mainly focusing on my weight loss, but as soon as, you know, in the year or so after it takes for me to like lose this weight to get to that healthy place, I am going to be shifting to like fashion and food and like stuff to like show the maintenance as well as just like life outside of weight loss because there is a life outside of weight loss so anyway i hope to see you again thank you so much for watching have a great day